Hello, welcome to the next episode, Plug and Play Tactic with me, Magoobidja R. Brof. And this is going great, I have to say. Scottish Premiership, last game you saw was the 10-goal thriller against Celtic, beating them 6-4. I played a sort of a half-rotated team against Aberdeen in the League Cup, sort of second round, lost to Aberdeen 2-1. Not too bothered about that. Back to the league, we're unbeaten. We beat them St. Johnson 2-1, Motherwell 5-0, Livingston 4-0 and Hamilton 5-1. We're now going to take on Dundee United and then St Mirren. It was supposed to be Rangers, but the fixture got moved. So it's Dundee United first, who are currently in fifth, followed by St Mirren, who are 11th. Premier League table, we're two points clear of Aberdeen. We've got a plus 16 goal difference, far better than anybody else in the league. And remember, in Scotland, top six teams qualify for the championship playoffs, whereas the bottom six for relegation. So let's get into this. This is Dundee United, my team. Dennis, Hamilton, Maglior, Akinola, McFadzine, McGinn, Love, Scott, Barron, McMillan and Vale. Here we go. Ojo in the middle, the deep line playmaker suspended. He's out. Got some other little knocks and injuries, so explains why people are not playing. So here we go. Dundee United away. Can we keep our unbeaten season going? First highlight is theirs, and they scored from a free kick. 39 minutes gone, a header. Really, really poor. Poor goal to concede, it really was. Lavia with a with free kick, floated in, free header back post. 1-0 down. That's disappointing, I have to say. Really disappointing goal to concede. That puts them above me. They've got another free kick. Another header, and it goes wide this time. 15 gone, I'm looking for a reaction from the players. Shout, let's demand more. Let's see if we can get a response to being a goal down early. We've got the free kick and Scott takes it to McGinn. McGinn's shot is blocked. To be fair, anywhere else it would have gone in, but he hit it straight at the goalkeeper. There's me in my blue suit. I can't believe it on the sidelines. Arms in the air. Approaching half time. Six shots, five on target. We've only seen one highlight. It's not been good. Need a bit of a rollicking to respond here. Show me something else, second half. Let's have a look what we're doing. At the moment, Barron's not performing. So Craigan's coming on for Barron, middle and midfield. Up front, Vale and McMillan. Put Ryan on for Vale. And leave it as that for the time being. Just the two subs. Fire up to the players. Need a response, need a goal. Keep our unbeaten run going. Half hour to go, nothing's happening. Make another change. McCabe. Come on from again. 20 to go. Substitutions haven't had an influence. We've been playing so well this season. We're coming to this game with a couple of players missing. And it's costing us by the looks of it. Right, we blocked their attempted shot. They're going to drop and pick up the loose ball. They've worked it wide to Robson. Robson's cross. Back post and they've scored. Lavia has scored a really feeble goal to concede, I have to say. That's not good at all. Totally unmarked with loads of space on the right-hand side of our, of our team, I should say. The right-hand side of the pitch, their left wing. Plays it to the back post. Unchallenged. And the goalkeeper's got to do better there as well, surely. Well, after an unbeaten start, a good start in the season, hopefully we can take this and use it as a bit of a reminder, a bit of a kick up the backside to refocus and to go again because this is poor, really, really poor. I wasn't expecting this at all. And so with that, I'm going to throw the water bottle because it's not what I expect. Our high standards so far this season have been good. That's the that's first defeat in seven games. Not good to concede. So we're going to move forward to 10 days' time to take it on St Mirren. So guys, this is St Mirren away. And as you can see in the league table, after that defeat to Dundee United, we're down to fourth. Normal service appears to be resumed with Celtic and Rangers in the top two positions. Celtic played Dundee. Rangers take on Kilmarnock. So I've got some 
players that are injured and got a couple of knocks. Paul, it's out. Zach Orr's not fit, nor is Ryan. Stewart's on the bench, even though he's not really fit. So I'm going to take him off and put McCabe in there. So it's Dennis, Hamilton, Akinola, Maglior, McFadzine, Ojo's back from suspension, Love, Scott Barron, McMillan and Vale. Here we go. Need a response. Need a much better result in this game. Looking. So I'm going to pump fists. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. Encourage the players. Let's get a win. They're playing 4-4-2. Flat 4-4-2. Right, Baron's got a knock already and has been replaced by McGinn. Right, we got the highlight. Maglior collects the loose ball. Plays it up the line to low, the wing back. Back to Maglior. McGinn, just on. Plays the ball over the top. McMillan's in. Goalkeeper makes a great save. They keep the ball from going out as well. And they work it away from danger. 20 gone. First highlight of note we've seen. Let's hope this is not a start of a bit of a wobble. Need to just kick on and keep playing as we were. We were doing well. Right, they've now got the highlight. Five minutes before half time. And we get the ball away. We don't. He's offside. A beaker's not. He's onside and he's scored. And we've got a goal down to St Mirren now. The throwing was headed away. Love sort of heads it towards the edge of the box. It's headed back in. And four defenders just standing still there. Look, just pedestrian watching him as he flicks the ball home. And we're a goal down, but we've got a chance to equalise, hopefully. Long throw. Maglior heads over. Look at that. Big chance to equalise. Big, big chance. McPherson takes the free kick, swings it in towards the back post. It's allowed to go all the way across, but they head the ball into the side netting. Right, we need to be better here. We need to be much better. Outstretch arms. Hands on hips. I don't think any of you have played as well as you can. Fire up. Need a response. My midfielders, Ojo, Scott, not doing great. Right, let's make changes. Carl Scott. Jays Craigan comes in. Jack Vale. Muskwee. Do McMillan and Muskwee can swap places. Come on now. 6.2s and 6.3s in my midfield here against the 4-4-2. Right, they've got the throw up the line, a B cut. Back to Tate. Craigan steps in and wins it. McFadzen, Musquee takes the ball down, but then loses possession, but wins it back in the challenge. Well done. Ojo gives it away. Stupid ball. Keep out of possession. We're not doing it enough. That's a bit of a challenge for McFadzy, and I think he's going to be off. It was two-footed, and he's going to be sent off. It goes from bad to worse. He's off. Deary me. The elation we had. The way we were playing after the big win against Celtic, and we're now going to be faced with two defeats. Deary me. Unless we can get an equaliser. Long throw from Love. Keeper, easy, unchallenged. Onwick takes the goal kick. Lumps it forward. We win the header, but head it out to them. Down the line. Cross comes in. Maglio have a good header. They're going to pick up second ball. And they do. Nicholson, a B cut. They're in down the right. Back post. My B cut onto the crossbar and over. Five minutes to go. Need to make a change. Said that I had. Reagan, who's on for who's on as a sub, is injured. Look at this. Another defeat. Two defeats in a row. Deary me. And that puts us fourth, 17 points, four behind Dundee, but we've got a game in hand. Deary me. Rangers drew, Celtic lost. Dundee got the advantage. Pagan's out for two or three days. Fadezine's out, suspended now. So let's play through now. I'm going to come and play through again. And this time, I'm going to come through and take and come through to 
end of December, beginning of January. St. Johnston, we've already seen Celtic. So St. Johnston at home, followed by Livingston as the next video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, not this particular episode with the two defeats, then drop a like on the video for me. Then subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out every day, 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.